My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Catherine Cod Body. And I watched this movie for one reason and one reason alone. And it's because Bella Ramsey stars in this movie and she's going to be playing my favorite character ever, Ellie, in The Last of Us TV show. So I wanted to see how she is. Is she a great actress? Should I be worried? Should I be more excited? And thankfully, she's the best part about this movie. She has plenty of charm and charisma to carry it, and she just brings so much personality and energy to this person, so I thought she did a really good job. Like without her, this movie would be unwatchable. With her, it's watchable, but just barely, because every other element of this movie just fell short for me. There's nothing about this movie and the story it's trying to tell that hooked me. There was no point in which I was engaged or invested in anything going on. It just feels like things are happening for the sake of it without any real connective tissue. And for a movie that's only an hour and 45 minutes long, it feels so much longer. It was just a movie with zero substance and all the cokey qualities to this character weren't enough to justify this movie. There's not much complexity on screen. There's also not much entertainment on screen. It's just a movie that's there. That's it. And as much as I liked Bella Ramsey, the rest of the cast did nothing for me. You've got yourself Billy Piper, meh. Andrew Scott, who plays the same character I've seen him play plenty of times already. Leslie Sharp, she actually does a fine job too, along with Joe Arwen and Sophia Kandu. This movie does got Paul K, Dean Charles Chapman, Ralph Einstein, and um, David Bradley. And I'm just like, oh wow, there is a lot of Game of Thrones actors here, along with Bella Ramsey. Just something I noticed. But I also found this movie to be very poorly directed. Like I said, it's poorly paced. It feels much longer than it is. But also the modern soundtrack didn't work for me. You know, A Knight's Tale brought a modern soundtrack to the medieval ages and they made it feel fresh and new and it really works for that movie but for this one it's just been done so many times and it just doesn't do anything for me here. I also didn't like the text that kept showing up on the screen. The first few times I'm like, okay, it's the introduction, but then it keeps happening and I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of tired of all this text on the screen. I wish it stopped. So I do think this movie is poorly directed by Lena Dunham and I just don't know who is it for? Who's going to be watching this movie? Who is the audience? Is it just people who want to see Bella Ramsey so they can make some kind of statement on whether or not she'll be good as Ellie? Are those the only people who are going to watch this movie? Because I think it's far too adult for kids to watch. I think it's far too boring for teenagers to like. And I just think it's all too lacking for any adults to watch and enjoy. So I just don't see this movie having any audience. It just feels like it's made for no one. So yeah, this movie just didn't work for me in any way. I don't really have much else to say besides that. The story is lacking in every sense. There's no, there's not much going on here. There's no real complexities to the character. And it's just trying to be a fun, entertaining movie. But it fails at that. It's really boring. It's slow. It drags on for far too long. The direction didn't work for me. And even though Bella Ramsey did elevate this movie and she brings some much needed energy to it, it's not enough to save this movie. So I'm going to go ahead and give Catherine Cod Body a 3 out of 10. This is one of those movies that a few years from now, I'll be scrolling through Amazon Prime and I'll be like, Catherine Cod Body. Huh, Ellie's in it. Never heard of it. And I'll keep scrolling. I'll have zero memory of it. It just went in one ear and it's going to be out the other by morning. There's nothing memorable about it. So, did you watch Catherine Card Body? What did you think about it? If you're a Last of Us fan, did this get you more excited for the show? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, out.